Okay, so I'm back with another post-surgical update. I'm now about five and a half weeks uh, since my reverse total shoulder replacement. Uh, next week, I'll be going in to see my surgeon for my uh, six-week follow-up, so I'm excited about that. Um, you know, since my last update, nothing's really changed as far as what I'm, what I'm permitted to do, uh, but I have noticed quite a few things just sort of spontaneously improving and feeling better. And so I just wanted to share uh, what some of those things are. Uh, and, and, you know, as a reminder, what, I was, what I'm really permitted to do is just do assisted range of motion up to about 90 degrees or shoulder level. Um, but just sort of the natural progression of things, things have, uh, without me trying to push things, uh, I have noticed things improving uh, quite a bit. So uh, kind of a quick little rundown of things that I've noticed that are not just better since surgery, but are actually better since uh, before this surgery. Um, one thing I've noticed is that in the shower, I can wash my left armpit. Uh, after I get out of the shower, I can put on deodorant on my left armpit uh, without much difficulty or pain. Uh, prior to this surgery, my right elbow was pretty much pinned to my side and then to, to put deodorant on, I kind of had to do this and it, and it didn't feel good. Like it actually was uh, pretty uncomfortable. Uh, so I'm pretty excited that I can reach over and, and wash my armpit and, and not have a lot of uh, pain there. This past week, uh, I started driving uh, and uh, feels pretty good. Like I don't have any issues reaching up to the, to the top of the steering wheel. Uh, when I first started driving after my surgery in, in 2022, it was pretty difficult to get my hand to the stop, top of the steering wheel. And, you know, I, I probably shouldn't admit this, but there were actually times when I would actually have to like crawl my hand up the steering wheel just so I could, so I could reach the top of it. Uh, the other thing that I've noticed is that when I'm sitting here uh, in my truck and I reach over to uh, turn off, to change the radio station or uh, to change a, a, a temperature control setting or something, I can actually just reach over there and do it now. Whereas in the past, I would actually have to rest my elbow on the console and then sort of like walk my hand over just like I would do on the steering wheel and support myself with my elbow supported and then some support for my hand because it just was uncomfortable to have my hand out there. So now I can just reach out, change the channel, do whatever I need to do, and there is no pain with that. I'm, I'm aware of my shoulder, like I can feel there's something, but it, it's, not, it's not painful. Um, here's another thing that I can do. I can reach out and shake someone's hand. Uh, I just did that for the first time two days ago, uh, and to be honest, there's always been for the last two years like this serious trepidation a, the reaching out is not going to be comfortable. And then depending on how aggressively they shake my hand, I knew that wasn't going to be comfortable. And not only did I reach out and, and shake someone's hand, but I actually reach across my body, which I really couldn't do before. So that doesn't really bother me. I noticed that uh, laying in bed the other morning. Uh, I was reached over to get my, uh, my cell phone uh, off my nightstand and I reached over this way to grab it without even really thinking and it didn't hurt whereas in the past it would have always had to have been a reach with my with my left hand so uh, those are a few things um, I'm so speaking of when I'm in bed uh, I've mentioned before that I'm a side sleeper uh, I'm now getting to the point where I can lay on my right side uh, initially when I was laying on my right side my my right arm would have to be straight out this way, or I got to the point where I could sort of bend my elbow and bring my hand up here. But now I can actually bring my hand up to my head uh, and it doesn't feel that bad. It doesn't feel really feel tight or uncomfortable. And that's kind of a preferred sleeping position for me is on my right side with my hand kind of here like that. Um, I have noticed that, you know, just reaching up to my head, like Again, like in the shower, like if I'm, not that I have a lot of hair to wash, but if I'm, you know, washing my scalp, let's say, uh, I have no discomfort or challenge doing that at all. I can reach up there without really much thought. Again, in the past, that was pretty challenging. And I have noticed, like I said, you know, I'm supposed to do range of motion here. Under my own power, I can get my arm up to about here. And all I really feel there is tightness. There's not a great deal of discomfort. It's just... It's just tightness, so that's a huge improvement. Uh, and then finally, in the last uh, week and a half or so, uh, I've started running. 
Uh, started running outside without a sling, so just running, and I'm noticing that my arm swing is a little bit more symmetrical. It's not, it's not completely even side to side, but it is a little bit more symmetrical. In the past, I would run with my right arm basically pinned to my side, again, not really even realizing I was doing it, but that's, that's kind of how I was running. The bigger deal is that while I'm running, I don't have any pain, uh, which in the past, uh, I would feel it like literally with every step, I'd feel a little jolt of pain. Uh, and then the bigger deal was that after running for the next 24 to 36 hours, I would have a great deal of pain in my shoulder, uh, really uncomfortable at night. Uh, when I would roll over in bed, not only was it painful, but I would actually have to take my, with my left hand, grab my right arm and like, bring it with me so that it wasn't too painful. And now I can, I can roll over in bed with really out, without much really uh, forethought. It doesn't, it doesn't cause a great deal of pain. So I'm definitely seeing improvements. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing my surgeon uh, next Monday uh, and seeing what he allows me to do and what he allows me to advance. Uh, I'd really like to start getting into the pool and, and doing some swimming. I know it's not gonna be a completely normal stroke, but uh, I'm looking forward to being able to get in the pool uh, and doing some swimming and uh, hopefully uh, training up for a triathlon in 2025. So uh, things are looking up. I'm pretty stoked about it. And uh, thanks for following along. And uh, I look forward to being able to share more updates with you in the future. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to just drop them in the comments. Uh, I'd love to answer any questions that you have about uh, reverse total shoulder replacement or uh, shoulder, shoulder re recovery from shoulder surgery in general. So thanks again.